Kidnap Chapter 1 Tom lives in America, near the town of Harper. He is an artist, and he works at home. He is working on a comic strip. How do the two friends escape? Tom thinks. They're running through some trees, and a man with a gun is running after them. I need a new idea. Maybe I need to go out, Tom thinks. It's winter, and there's a lot of snow. I can go to the bookstore in Harper, Tom thinks. It's warm in there. I need some coffee, he thinks. He parks his car and goes into the bookstore. Tom goes to the coffee shop in the bookstore. Just then, Tom sees some white paper. The paper falls from a man's hand. Wait! Tom calls. This is yours! But the man doesn't hear him. Tom looks at the paper. It has a map on it. He puts the paper into his coat. Maybe it's not important, he thinks. He gets a cup of coffee and sits down at a table. Tom sees a woman with red hair at a table near him. That's an interesting face, he thinks. I'd like to draw it, but I don't have any paper. Then he remembers the man's map. Oh, yes I do. Tom finishes the picture of the woman. He's happy with it. Maybe I can use this in a comic strip, he thinks. Tom drinks his coffee and goes down into the bookstore. He looks out of the window and sees the woman from the coffee shop. Is something wrong? He thinks. Why is she standing there in the street? Tom goes out to the street. Hi, are you okay? Tom asks. It's my car, the woman says. There's something wrong with it. Tom wants to help the woman. You need to call a tow truck, he says. They can come and get your car. Here's my cell phone. What's that? The woman asks when she sees Tom's picture. It, it's a picture of you, Tom says. I'm an artist. I draw pictures for comic books. Oh, but there's a map. Tom tells the woman about the men in the bookstore. They look at the map. Look at this, says Tom. And he reads from the map. A and J.A. arrive at 12.30 p.m., maybe with bodyguard. Van waits here. H. School. Car comes across road here. We get away with A in the van. Chapter 2 Only important or famous people have a bodyguard, Tom says. This is a plan. Those two men in the bookstore want to kidnap somebody. A. And look, it says H school. Maybe they want to kidnap a child. The woman gives a little laugh. <laughs> Kidnap a child? You read a lot of comic books, she says. This isn't a comic strip. This is real life, says Tom. 
We must call the police. Wait, says the woman. Can I see the map again? My name's Rita, the woman says. What's your name? Tom, he tells her. Look, Tom, maybe we can find the school first. Then we can ask the teachers, do you have any famous children here? Before we call the police. In Boston, a famous mother and her daughter leave their house. The mother is Jody Ann Ryan, the movie star. The girl is Anastasia. She is 13 years old. Why are we going to your old school? Anastasia asks her mother. It's the winter holiday concert, Jody Ann says. The students are singing, and we must be there. They're singing for us. Holiday concert? Oh, no. Mom, I want to go home now. Please, Anastasia, you must come with me. The students want to see you, Jody Ann says. Well, I don't want to see them. Holiday concerts are boring, Anastasia says. Tom wants to call the police. There are no street names on the map, he says. How can we find the school? Maybe I know it. Rita tells him. Come on, Tom. We can take your car. What about your car? Tom asks. Do you want to call the tow truck? There isn't time, Rita says. And this is more important than my car. Go left at the next street, Rita says. What time is it? Tom asks. Almost 11.30, Rita tells him. Only an hour before the kidnap, Tom says. Are you sure about the school? Uh, almost sure, Rita says. Oh, there's ice on the road, Tom says. Be careful, she says. Chapter 3 After 20 minutes, Tom says, I need some gas. I can get some here, Tom says. Hurry, Rita tells him. There isn't much time. What time is it? Asks Tom again. It's almost 12 o'clock, Rita says. On a country road, the two men from the bookstore are looking at the map. The school's not far from here, Joe, the big man says. Where's your map? I don't know, Joe says. I'm worried, Max, Joe says. Where's the boss? Listen, everything's okay, Max tells him. Think of all the money, Joe. Here, take my map, Joe. Drive down this road for five kilometers. There's a place to park on the right. Wait there and be ready to move quickly when you see the car. Remember, it's a long black car. At the gas station, Tom pays for the gas. Hi, he says to the girl in the shop. We're looking for a school near here. Tom shows her the map. Do you know this place? He asks. The girl looks at the map. 
I think... She begins. What? Says Tom. Do you know it? Maybe it's Bridgewater, a little town about three kilometers from here. She says. Is there a school in Bridgewater? Tom asks. Oh, yes. The girl says. Hillside School. Rita is waiting. What's he doing? She thinks. The girl shows Tom a magazine. There is a picture of a movie star on the front of the magazine. Do you know this woman? She asks. Sure. It's Jody Ann Ryan, says Tom. That's right, the girl says. She's an old hillside student, and that's her daughter, Anastasia. Anastasia? Tom thinks. A for Anastasia. They want to kidnap Jody Ann Ryan's daughter. Chapter 4. Rita sees Tom. He's running to the car. What's happening? She thinks. They want to kidnap Anastasia, Jody Ann Ryan's daughter, Tom says. Jody Ann Ryan, the movie star? Says Rita. Are you kidding? We must call the police now. Tom says. Oh, no. My cell phone's dead. Tom says. Do you have a cell phone? No. Rita says. I know. Let's call from the shop. You stay here and be ready to drive to the school. Rita runs to the shop. Hurry, Tom says. Tom throws his phone into the back of the car. He sees Rita's coat. Then he sees something in her coat pocket. What's this? Tom says. It's... it's the map. She has it too. And she has a cell phone. Tom says. So, who is she calling now? Is it the police, or... He looks at the map. No, he thinks. She's phoning the kidnappers. She's a kidnapper, too. Rita gets into the car. She has a gun in her hand. You're... Tom begins. Drive, she tells Tom. Where are we going? Tom asks. Don't ask stupid questions, Mr. Smart Guy. Drive, Rita says. She smiles, but it isn't a nice smile. And when I say take a left, take a left. Tom drives carefully in the snow. Why do you want Jody Ann Ryan's daughter? He asks Rita. Anastasia? Rita says. We kidnap her. Then we ask Jody Ann for three million dollars. She gives us the money, and we give her Anastasia. The police, Tom begins. <laughs> the police aren't coming, Rita says, laughing. But my friends are waiting for us. After driving for ten minutes, Tom stops behind a blue van. Now we wait with Max, Rita says. Get out. Hello, boss, Max says to Rita.
Chapter 5. Just then, a big black car comes down the road. Here they come, Rita says. Almost there, Anastasia, Jody Ann Ryan says. My old school is down this road. Oh, great, Anastasia says. And when can we go home? Suddenly, everything happens. Give me the girl! Max shouts at Jody Ann. No! Screams the movie star. No! Please don't take her! Tom is in the back of the van. He can only watch. Get in the van! Rita tells the girl. Rita gets in the back, too and Joe closes the doors. Max hurries to the front of the van. Suddenly, Jody Ann's bodyguard takes a gun from under his coat. Be careful, Joe! shouts Max. The bodyguard shoots at Joe and hits him. Joe screams, My leg! Joe's hurt! Max shouts to Rita. Drive! Rita tells him. Max drives away, fast. The bodyguard shoots. He can't stop the van. Be careful, Max! Rita shouts. There's ice on the roads! Tom and Anastasia sit in the back of the van. Anastasia is angry. Be careful, says Tom quietly. These people are dangerous. Suddenly, the van skids on the ice and snow. It goes off the road and hits a tree with a crash. After a minute, Rita opens the back doors. Max? She shouts. I... I can't get out! Max shouts. Get out! Rita tells Tom and Anastasia. Tom gets out of the van and helps Anastasia. Are you okay? Tom asks. Oh, sure. Anastasia says. Chapter 6 Max! Rita shouts. Are you okay? I... I can't move! He tells her. My legs! I can't move my legs! Suddenly, Tom jumps on Rita. He knocks the gun from her hand. Run! He shouts to Anastasia. Tom runs after Anastasia. I'm behind you! He shouts. Stop! Rita shouts, and she gets her gun. Tom and Anastasia run through the trees. Rita has her gun again and runs after them. Then, Anastasia falls down in the snow. Ow! She cries. Tom helps Anastasia. Rita is getting closer and closer. Stop! She shouts. Or I shoot! Rita shoots at them, but she doesn't hit Tom or Anastasia. Down here! Tom tells Anastasia. We can go across the river on the bridge. Tom and Anastasia run across the bridge, but Rita is close behind them. Suddenly, Tom slips on the ice on the bridge. Tom falls into the river and begins to swim. Go on! He shouts to Anastasia. Rita stops on the bridge and gets ready to shoot Tom. Quickly, Anastasia gets some snow and makes a snowball. She throws the snowball at Rita and hits her on the head. Ow! Rita shouts. Rita falls into the river. Help! She screams. Help me! I can't swim! 
Come gets out of the water and sees Rita in the river. Come on! Anastasia shouts. But we can't leave her. She can't swim. We must help her. Tom says. Are you kidding? She wants to kill us. Come on! Screams Anastasia. Freeze! Shouts a police officer. Suddenly, lots of police officers come running across the bridge. They get Rita out of the river, and they push Tom to the ground. Wait! Says Anastasia. He's helping me. He's a good guy. Okay, okay. Let's go to a warmer place, says the police officer. You can tell us everything there. Wait a minute. I don't understand. How? Why are you here? Anastasia asks the police officer. You have a very good bodyguard. He's fast with his gun and with his cell phone. And when someone calls the police, we move fast too. The police take Tom, Anastasia, and Rita back to their car. You sure can throw well, Anastasia, Tom says. Anastasia laughs. <laughs> I play baseball with the boys at my school, she says. I'm the pitcher. Tom laughs too. <laughs> You're great, he says. Back at home, Tom looks at his comic strip. How do the friends escape? Easy! Now I know, thinks Tom. Sometimes real life can give you great ideas for a comic strip. <laughs> He laughs. <laughs>